Hey guys, Iron Wolf here. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick little video talking about um, something that's pretty prevalent in the meta. Um, it's something that you'll encounter a lot when you play, you know, maybe multiplayer matches. Seeing as how the Goma are a very strong faction. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Caretaker Rush. Now the Caretaker Rush is very similar to a Zerg Rush from uh, StarCraft. It's basically a way, it's, it's a very high risk, high reward strategy. Um, still, it's like still very effective though. Um, it, you can end the game in about f six to seven minutes um, if you do it right. Um, I'm just gonna be going over a little replay here, uh, just, just so you uh, have this in mind. I'm doing this um, against the Gorons. Or I'm playing against the AI, of course. You know, it, just about anything will work against the AI. But this is the this the strategy. Basically, um, it basically invalidates the Gorons. What, what I mean by that is. When the when you're fighting against the Gorons as the Goma, if you use this strategy, the Gorons have zero options against it, and I'll I'll talk about why it, during the video. But uh, in the meantime, let's get into this replay. See how the game ended in less than eight minutes. All right, here we are. All right, so we're doing a very similar opener to uh, our the main, like the regular Goma standard, like build order that I showed in my previous Goma build order video, which I will link in the description below, in case you haven't seen that yet. What we're doing here, pause. What we're doing here is our workers, our harvesters, are going onto the food. Our uh, builder is going to build uh, a drop off right here next to the wood. Our Goma queen's building five eggs. And then you're queuing up two farms, and then both of them are going to go work on those farms as soon as they're done building these. And then of course your soldier larva are probably going to go scout. Playing against the Gorons here. This is uh, this is this is very bad for the Gorons just in general. But as soon as those five eggs are hatched, or just you know, whenever you uh, want to hatch them, I would prefer you know, you get them out as soon as you uh, as soon as she plants them. But that's just me. Uh, you're gonna want to get turn them into harvesters, and these harvesters are gonna be going onto the wood. And you see here, the Goma Queen helping out the the hive keeper here uh, with this extra extractor or no vacuole um, to get that drop off of, uh, up. Now we have two farms going up. Although, I do take the uh, Goma Queen off the farm for a moment here to build two eggs. Um, oh, she just builds one, and then I think I go back to build the second one after. Because as soon as this farm goes up, you're going to want to get a harvester out of there to put them right on this farm as soon as it's up. Farm goes up. That harvester should be coming out soon. Getting the second farm up. Very similar, very pretty much the identical uh, opener that we were doing with our standard Goma build order with pincers and spinals. But this one's just a little bit different after after we finish our opener. There we get our harvester going onto the fly trap here. So now what you're going to do, by this point you're probably going to have enough materials to build another farm. So you're going to build a third farm. And then, of course, you want that second egg to build a harvester, and that harvester is going to go on the second farm. So they're finishing up this farm. And then as soon as that one's up, your queen is going to build another egg so that a harvester can go onto this farm. And then your hive keeper is going to build a hive node so that you uh, don't cap yourself out. Now, I will note that in the current version of this game, a big part of why this strategy is as broken as it is against non-Gorons is because of the population cap glitch. You can take advantage of that, it's completely up to you. Um, but basically, if for those of you that don't know, when a Goba Queen plants an egg, it ignores the population cap and goes over. So she can still plant eggs if you've capped yourself out. But generally speaking, and this might carry over too, this build might carry over too when they patch that out during the, uh, the next patch. But so, as we saw here, got this third farm up. And then our egg right here got turned into a harvester, and he's going onto there. And then we're building this hive node right here. And right after our queen built that egg, she came over here and was building some more. Specifically four, so that we don't, as you see here, let me show you. 
We were at 20 out of 20 before this hive node went up, so now we reached our population cap. But as soon as those, uh, she plants those four eggs, so she's going to plant four eggs. This hive node's probably going to be finished. This, you're going to want to plant five more eggs. And all those eggs, you're going to be turning into the hive larva. And then as soon as you get those hive larva up, you want to turn them into caretakers as soon as you have the resources. And you, you see here, at close to three minutes, I've got some caretakers and some soldier larva um, and a hive larva that's in the process of being upgraded. They're already heading over to my opponent's base while I've got more being uh, built back here. So your worker, your hive keeper, is still working on the second node. All right. As soon as that node's up, you're going to get another node and some more farms. Preferably two, three, whichever you... You know, it's completely up to you. But you see here, those five eggs that I planted from the, the second batch all turned into hive keepers, and they're all, or what am I saying, hive keepers, I'm sorry, hive larva, and they're all being upgraded into caretakers. I'm gonna start having them head over. These ones are here. I'm gonna start harassing. Soon here, you're gonna be aiming to get your hero out as well. see here already harassing our opponent so what par part of what makes caretakers so strong is that they outrange just about everything in the game except for the goma rock toss or no, i'm sorry the goron rock tossers which is nice and all but the goron rock tossers have very little health and do very little damage compared to the caretaker they even outrange all the city uh city centers in the game and towers and whatnot so that's what part of what makes it so strong against the gorons because they don't have any options that they can use to get units out fast enough because they're so slow of a faction to challenge these caretakers you see here at four minutes 30 seconds we've got what is this four caretakers right there five more coming our goma queen and oh yeah <laughs> this is a little funny uh freaking lever came and killed our hive keeper during when i was doing this uh this video or when i was doing this replay and uh, so I just have my Goma Queen finish these buildings. But as soon as she's done with these two farms, she's going to start producing more eggs. And we're just going to constantly be producing eggs, turning them into hive larvae, and then sending them over while upgrading them to uh, caretakers, if that makes any sense. And also here, at around this point too, you're going to want to get your hero out as soon as you can. So see here, we've got nine caretakers. Very little that the Gorons can do at this point. The scariest thing is, is that at this point, this is kind of GG. Like, I've killed a lot of their workers, the few, like, soldiers they had. Like, this is GG, because they can't do anything about this. They can try to build some stuff, but nothing they can build will produce stuff fast enough to challenge whatever these guys are throwing out. See, here are our heroes coming out soon. Got these farms going up. And then you're going to want to get some eggs. Uh, you want to get harvesters, uh, like, build eggs to put harvesters on these farms before you get those hive larvae up. Just, you know, keep that in mind. And try not to keep yourself out. You can abuse the glitch while it's still in, but as I said in my Goma uh, standard build order with Petzers and Spinals, uh, try not to cap yourself out just so you can, you know, still produce units from buildings. Because, sure, you can still produce eggs, but you can't produce units from buildings because the population cap will be like, hey, you've reached the limit, you can't produce anymore. So, you know, j try to squeeze in some nodes and some houses when you can. But for the most part, just focus on getting, you know, eggs up and turning them into caretakers. As you see here, I'm attacking my opponent's uh, civic center, and they are out, outside the range of the civic center. They, they can, this cannot do anything. Like, sure, the defenses of this building are very strong, but it can do nothing against this. And these, uh, the caretakers, they do magic damage, so they do a lot of damage uh, compared to most, you know, ranged units, and they do a lot of uh, building damage as well. As you see here, we got Solcaris coming up. Our queen planting more eggs. These are going to be turned into hive larva just so we can start throwing more caretakers at our opponent. I mean, sure, they've got a rock tosser out here, but he's doing very little damage to this uh, caretaker right here. And he's so little health as well. So, a car should be coming in here soon. Yep, there she is. See, we got these hive larva turning into caretakers. I'm going to be sitting all those over there just in a second to help out. But yeah, see, this is a GG, honestly, and we're at... We haven't even hit 6 minutes 30 seconds yet. 
So this is the case, especially with the Gorons, but against most factions in general. They really can't do anything about this, most factions. So it's oh, so you can do this like you can't there are ways to beat this but it is very difficult for any faction that is not the Kokiri or another Goma player that is maybe also doing a caretaker rush but you see here like this is <laughs> this is GG like I've got these caretakers here with Sokaris more coming where are those other ones yeah we got more right here so we've got like 15 caretakers and a, and a hero out at this point like there's and we've already destroyed all these buildings and all that against a normal player you might not have destroyed all like as many buildings as these but you've definitely like permanently crippled their economy or at least taken down a couple buildings so at this point like it's kind of over um so that's pretty much the build honestly you're just gonna keep producing eggs and like if they're still alive you're just gonna keep producing eggs and uh, hive nodes and houses just to and you know throw in some farms because you're going to need the extra food just when you can see here we got more hive larvae coming up that's pretty much the build i hope you guys really enjoyed this video this is a video i've been meaning to make for a while now um yeah see that's that's it um be sure to like and subscribe uh i really appreciate y'all support uh make sure to check out my video talking about the war of twilight my new tournament series coming up uh, for Hyrule Conquest, there will be a lot of hype and a lot of action as far as that goes. So be sure to check that out. I'll see you guys later.